Hello? Is anyone there? Can you copy? The current date is June 11, 2119. Game Freak finally did the impossible and removed every single Pokemon from the game. We don't know what to do anymore. Competitive players are asking for blood. Pokemon YouTubers have gone crazy. Please, young traveler, the only way to save the future is for you to know the truth. That's it was never the issue. The true problem was. Also, if you could tell my future wife to take the kids in the divorce, I'd greatly appreciate it. They keep eating my fruit roll-ups. Pokemon! That's it. That's the whole intro. Freaky little creatures with mystical powers that we as trainers are tasked to catch and train. But we as Pokemon fans have taken it a step further and created everlasting bonds with our Pokemon. Both because we don't have real friends, but because we cherish the memories we made on our journeys. So when Pokemon announced four years ago that they will be cutting Pokemon in future titles for the sake of animations and better gameplay, it broke its fans' hearts in half. Except for me, because I think Dexit was supposed to be, and later became, one of the best ideas in incorporated in Pokemon. Please hear me out. Dexit is a fan-made term that is a play on the British movement known as Brexit, where the United Kingdom decided to walk away from the European Union and be its own independent state. I think I was asleep in class that day. But Dexit refers to Game Freak's decision to remove a certain amount of Pokemon from the newest mainline entries. Dexit was a choice Game Freak made to cut a ton of Pokemon from the mainline games for the opportunity to delegate more time to updating animations and making the Pokemon games more enjoyable. <laughs> Wait, they were serious? Game Freak decided to remove 50% of the Pokemon from other regions in Sword and Shield, only allowing you to catch 400 Pokemon. Game Freak's excuse for this mischievous act was to limit the workload on creating new sprites and push newer and better animations. Better animations? Better animations? Where? Where's the better animations? Please, enlighten me. The early game, when the Pokemon's animations were... Or the beautiful signature moves that you later scrapped in Scarlet and Violet. Or the one amazing cinematic in the entire game. They did however slightly live up to this promise by making some of the battle animations look incredibly clean. The Dynamax animations were okay. The signature moves for the new Pokemon were pretty amazing. And the idle animations for a lot of the Pokemon were pretty f***ing neat. And this announcement of Game Freak deciding to cut out a ton of fan favorite Pokemon was heartbreaking. Everyone who was anyone was talking about the potential issues with Dexit and these Pokemon that they created bonds with in older titles would no longer be in the games. Pokemon is not your stereotypical game. It's not just about an amazing single player experience or being the very best like no one ever was but about creating bonds and kinships with your partner Pokemons that will last for generations to come. People love the fact that they can catch a Caterpie in Fire Red and transfer it all the way to Sword and Shield and use it in their late game playthrough. The bonds we create with Pokemon is very weird and somewhat concerning, but it's very unique and amazing in the Pokemon franchise. Ah! But moving away from all that sentimental junk, Pokemon Sword and Shield were not the first games to implement the preachings of Dexit. Rather, the first games to do it were Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. In the main game of Pokemon Black and White, we don't use a single Pokemon from any other region. No Pikachu, no Gyarados. He's not in the f***ing game. None of the Pokemon from previous generations were present in Pokemon Black and White's main story, so you were forced to construct the team using only Generation 5 Pokemon, which is probably the most oddish choice they've ever made in making a Pokemon game, because if you're trying to sell to older fans, you kind of want to give them the option to use older generation Pokemon, but they didn't. Game Freak decided to take a risk that they never took again. But till this day, Pokemon Black and White is considered one of the greatest Pokemon games to ever exist. The reason I know this is because every time I open YouTube, there's a new video essay talking about how amazing Black and White is. I get it. It's amazing. Please. Can we talk about Legends Arceus? The choice of removing most of the Pokemon from the game is what led Pokemon Black and White to becoming one of the best games in the franchise. You are correct, every Pokemon is still present in Pokemon Black and White, but the only way to catch most of the Pokemon is to transfer them from other games. But if you want to do that, you have to use the transfer system, which was created by Satan himself, because whoever designed this... I just want to talk to you. I just want to know. 
Why? Pokemon Black and White is the first instance of Dexit working in its favor, as you were forced to use the new Pokemon added in Pokemon Black and White to beat the games. All Pokemon from previous generations were present in Pokemon Black and White, but their sprites were reused sprites from Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. It wasn't a lot of work for Game Freak to add them to Black and White. So this was an instance of Dexit working phenomenally. But let's say you don't like Black and White and wish these games never existed, but you really like competitive Pokemon, specifically VGC. Competitive Pokemon is notorious for being a game where the strongest Pokemon with the strongest movesets with the strongest butts reign supreme. What? This makes it incredibly boring trying to team build because every single person runs basically the same team or a different variation of the same team. But in the early games of Pokemon Sword and Shield, this problem was not present. In fact, all the overpowered Pokemon were not in the game. So when you were team building, you could have easily just added your favorite Pokemon and not worried about Landorus, Kangaskhan, or Heatran ruining the game for everyone. Okay, let's say you hate Pokemon Black and White and really hate competitive Pokemon. But I know something you'll really like because if you don't, I'll kill myself called Pokemon Legends Arceus. I might have an addiction. Legends Arceus is the game that follows Pokemon Sword and Shield. Not you, you can f right off! Where we go back in time in Sinnoh slash Hisui slash an alternate timeline Sinnoh where the only available Pokemon are the Hisuian Pokemon, the Sinnoh Pokemon, and a few others sprinkled in. Because Legends Arceus had to work with very few Pokemon, it allowed the developers to delegate more time into making a wonderful experience without worrying too much about creating new models for thousands of Pokemon in the Legends Arceus art style. The game added a new gameplay style, added a new battle gimmick, and added some of the best waifus in the entire series. I might have a type. In fact, Legend ZA is probably only gonna have a few Pokemon that were catchable in Pokemon X and Y be present in the game. When we look at Dexit and look at what Dexit tried to do, I still stand by the Pokemon community that Dexit should never have happened because it's very important for all the Pokemon to be present in every single game because Game Freak wants to treat every single Pokemon game as a continuation of one another. But I truly believe Dexit was not the issue. The issues with Dexit stem from the lies that were fed to the community about why Dexit happened. When you sit there and tell your fans, hey, we're removing half the Pokemon for a better visual experience and give us a tree that looks like it came out of my ass. I think there's a few problems that need to be addressed. In fact, every modern Pokemon game that has come out after Sword and Shield has had major visual issues even with tons of Pokemon cut from the games. I think when we break it down, ever since we jumped into the 3D era, Pokemon has not really been able to keep up with the yearly release schedule and constantly making the games look nice. Dexit was supposed to enable them to keep up with the yearly release expectations, but sadly not only is Dexit not enough, but their rigorous release schedule is a major issue. So in my opinion, is Dexit a bad thing? Yes. But you have to realize what Pokemon was trying to do and you can't really hate them for it. I hope you enjoyed my take on Dexit and why I think Dexit wasn't the worst thing in the world, especially since there's other issues we need to deal with. I love you guys and I love reading your comments. So tell me what you thought about Dexit. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm 100% gonna get cooked alive for this video.